said, get used to seeing this angle for the foreseeable future until school's done. Welcome to another episode of Vlogmas. It's about 8 a.m. and we are getting ready to start the day. Thomas will be going to school in a bit. I'm officially wearing my first Christmas sweater. My I'm a believer. It's old. I think it's about five years old. I got it from Mark's Work Warehouse, but it's like cozy and nice. And we are starting the day in my office because I have a huge stack. This is my book, baby. This is Finding Your Cape. Thank you to everyone who's read it. If you're looking for a great Christmas gift for someone, all ages. Okay, not all ages. I would say like late teens and older. It's got some adult content in it, but um, 17 to 87 would appreciate this book. Got this massive stack of my book baby because I am taking these and also half a dozen of my You Do You notebooks, which all my merch is available on my website. Again, if you'd like to give someone a little Christmas gift this year, um, I am going to donate the stack of books and those to our local women's shelter. I feel like the book, Finding Your Cape, the concept is something that could be very beneficial for someone who is in the shelter or someone who uses their programs. So I messaged them the other day. I saw their list for requests for their Christmas hampers and journals was one of the things like notebooks. And I thought, oh, well, I can easily take some of these that they could pop into different hampers. And then I said, would you like, you know, a dozen copies of my book to have in your like library on site or to give to women and she was like yes absolutely would you please sign them please bring them by so I'm gonna sign them now and then drop them off after I take Thomas to school so we're gonna do a little book signing here in my office just so you know if you want a signed copy of the book they're available on my website and if you're local you can just message me and we can figure out a way so that you don't have to get them shipped um, and if you aren't local, the book's available, uh, the link's down below. It's findingyourcape.com, findingyourcapebook.com, excuse me. Or you can get it on Barnes & Noble, Waterstones, Amazon, Book Depository, I think, has it. You can get it, the audio version, you can get the digital version. Can you believe we're almost reaching her one-year anniversary, her birthday? Wild. Mm. This is not water, in case you were wondering. <laughs> it's one of those like NRC vitamin C packets. Okay, here we go. dropped off those books to the South Okanagan Women in Need Society and it was wonderful. Um, the executive director, Debbie, is someone who I interviewed countless times while I was at Sun FM so it was really nice to touch base with her from, you know, six feet away wearing masks outside. Um, but it was just really nice to think that one day with my social work schooling, hopefully maybe I'll get to do a practicum there or some like a work placement. And I also just wanted to say that every time I get to do a donation, and I've um, been fortunate enough to do quite a few in my career, I really think of you every single time I do it because it's because of you and your support buying my books and buying my merch and supporting me and supporting when I do sponsored videos. It's because of you doing like the... Um, online zoom calls with me earlier this year like everything i do i always give a portion back to charity and to different organizations so i really feel like i'm doing it on behalf of the marathoners and that feels really important and really special to me so i just wanted to share that with you 
Now we've got hair up, computer on, time to get to work. Made myself a little snack, a little avocado toast and mandarins. Got a cheeky coffee in my, it's also time to bring out the Christmas mugs, all the jingle ladies. I'm gonna do some work, but that felt really nice. And I also said like, if I could ever do some sort of like virtual workshop or Zoom something, or help out in any way, I'd love to. So, it was just really special. It was really special. Mm. Good start to a day. Good start to a Tuesday. This is just a PSA. If you haven't listened to the Long Pond, so it's called Long Pond Sessions. Yep, Long Pond Studio Sessions, the new live Taylor Swift album. Also, if you haven't watched the Long Pond Studio Sessions documentary, it's this. Yep, 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 yep. Mm, so good. Thank you for being patient that this is the background you're gonna see. At least you get to see like Adele and Oprah and then Beyonce's over in the corner too. Um, just had a delicious lunch and edited and I'm scheduling a vlog. I've never worked ahead in Vlogmas ever. It's always been day of, day of, day of. So feeling good about that. And got the podcast scheduled and ready for tomorrow. And I can't believe that season two is wrapping up. When is this video gonna go up? Mm. I think, yeah, this week, if this goes up, if you're watching this before December 9th, December 9th is the last episode of 2020 in Finding Your Cape, the podcast. So thanks to everyone who's like showed it love this year. I feel like I need to address something um, because I'm gonna be seeing you virtually every single day in December. Um, I kind of wanted to address like an elephant in the room because it's gonna be something that, rather than me just getting a lot of questions about, hopefully everyone will have just watched this video. Um, I don't really know how to say this, but um, I am no longer dating the unicorn. Cause we live together! <laughs> Would you like to say something, peanut gallery? What does that mean? No, oh, that was good. I just yell out, yeah. <laughs> what does that mean that I said we weren't dating? No, that was good. That you was liked good. It. For a minute there, I was like, what? What's going on? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, cool. There's a little bit of a little, little flutter of my heart. But... <laughs> A flutter of your heart. Yeah, a little flutter. So we, we're not dating anymore. We live together now. He moved in end of November. So we don't know what, 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 this feels weird to say like dating now because we're shacked up. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Roommates. Oh, buds. We're buds. We're buds who have the same address. I don't know. <laughs> but since you're going to be in our house, whoa, whoa, every single day, there was no way that I was going to be able to not tell you. Not that I wanted to keep it from you. But there you have it. Secrets out. It was never really a secret. I now live with a nine-year-old and a unicorn. I'm outnumbered. It's happened. Um, yeah. Anything else that I should say about that? Right. We're happy. Yeah, very happy. Very happy. We're excited. All moved in. He's here. You may notice a few things different in the, in the fore shot, the background shots. So. Yeah. You may see some of his stuff. You may. Um, one thing I haven't actually addressed is the new couch, but you will have seen it, I think, in a couple of videos. And then I, every time I show something, I get a message inevitably that's like, when did you unveil your new couch? Well, that was his first purchase before he'd even moved his stuff here. <laughs> we were going to get him a new recliner. And so the three of us went furniture shopping. And instead, he was like, I like that. 
great. <laughs> so one of my girlfriends took the old couch and chair, which I'd been wanting to get rid of anyway. And now we have that beautiful new blue sectional. And he didn't really bring a lot. When he brought, when he pulled up with his U-Haul, my girlfriend Lauren and I were like, where's all your stuff? It was so easy, boys. And I had to point out that I've been here a little bit already. <laughs> like slowly been bringing stuff over the last Sneaking year <laughs> so when lots of you are asking how will we spend Christmas together we live together how will we manage long distance with COVID we won't and through it we said no thanks we did it almost two years of long distance he's transferred he's here mm -hmm. I just keep thinking of Chandler on Friends when he's like, are you scared? <laughs> <laughs> no going back. Mm -mm. No, we have that discussion. There's no, no return to center, no going back. You handed in your old keys and... Yeah. This is it. You're here. Here. Two, two guys in the house and one redhead. Yep. Two guys and a redhead. That's, it. That's a sitcom, isn't it? We could. That's oh. two guys, a girl, in a pizza place. I think. I think oh, okay, yeah. okay. Which I mean, honestly, would be like his dream and Thomas's oh, dream yeah. if we pizza. lived in a pizza place. Mm -hmm. So that's the news. I, I don't. It's not really gonna. I don't think you're gonna like see him, but you might see him in the shadows, glimpses, or, reflections, or hear his like magical Christmas singing voice if I can get that on camera oh, again this year. <laughs> <laughs> that was a oops, and now I'm, I'm more aware of your record. Well, no, I, ABR. I, I Always forget, be recording. You forget. So, we're not dating. No. In fact, we are now Facebook official. Which. That was a big step. I yeah. Know. I hadn't had my relationship status on Facebook for years. And I think you're you're said single and ready to mingle. For... <laughs> Not ready to mingle, but it, yeah, I, I never updated. Just said single. <laughs> <laughs> so finally, when he moved in, we were like, maybe we should put that on Facebook. So we did. So here we are. Here we are. Me and a unicorn. No longer dating. We're no longer dating.
hide in there. There you go. Mmm, chicken. Yum. Ah. And you get to do your bite today, that's pretty awesome too. Happy for you. You miss my chair from high school. Nice and sunny. Did you enjoy your lunch today? Your lunch today? Here is the final product that you just watched me make. It is a lentil mushroom stew. And it's supposed to be over mashed potatoes, but instead I mashed a full head of cauliflower and one small russet potato. I'll link the recipe down below if you would like to try it yourself.